so this is Hindu. So uh, we are going to do our third example using a two-step approach to perform a viscoelastic analysis. So the material properties and all the data are coming from the this paper. So uh, you can refer to this paper and also the theory about using mechanics of stress genome in the viscoelastic analysis is also given in this paper. So for viscoelastic analysis, uh, a problem is user usually need to prepare a lot of data to define these time-dependent properties. Usually we use primary theories. Uh, to keep the GUI uh, not too mess and, uh, and, and the neat clean, so we provide another function called import a, import a properties file. So basically users can prepare a text file and uh, write all the necessary data in this file, upload to the CDM hub, and then TextGene 4SC will read the data from that file. That will, uh, it is easier for the users to uh, perform a viscoelastic analysis. So first of all, let's go to the CDM hub, click TextGene 4SC, launch the tool, And then we create our meso scale structure genome. Okay, and then go to the homogenization microscopic. Here, what we want is a viscoelastic analysis, right? And uh, uh, we have the volume fraction need to be changed to the corresponding one, but all the proper properties here will not be used. We will use the import function to get our file ready. So here comes another question which I was, I was asked a lot, that how to pass a file or how to transform a file from a local computer to the CDM hub server. So here in this desktop we have, we use this WinSCP uh, but you can also use FileZilla, which is also very uh, good tool to perform this this task. So you have the host name as cdmhub.org, and I, then you have your username. Just click login, okay? Because I already have my password. Oh yeah, here I mean input my password, password, and then it's done. So it's pretty neat. So this file. Uh, was prepared. So you can directly drag this file to the corresponding section sessions. Now you have no, notice that here you will have a section session number, right? And then here you can find the corresponding section session number and then move this file to the current folder. Okay? Now you have the file on the CDM hub. Okay, back to here, we click import, then you see we have the file already here. We click open this file, it says the properties are imported. Click OK and finish. So it will run the viscoelastic analysis for the micro scale, at the micro scale, which gives the effective yarn properties here in terms of the general time dependent. So you have the time. Uh, let me go to the file we just prepared here and open it. It combined by several, it composed of several blocks. So let me use this PowerPoint to better show this. So the, this is the typically macro scale input file. The first line is to define time increment. So for this analysis, uh, the homogenization were performed at the time equal to 10 to the power of 0 to the 10 to the power of 14, and the increment is 1. So basically, it will perform 10 to the power of 0, then 10 to the power of 1, then 10 to the power of 2, then all the way to the 10 to the power of 14. And the next line, we need to use three stars to, three stars to uh, divide this time increment and then the uh, material properties. 
So at the macro scale, uh, we have the matrix, which is usually a time-dependent properties. Here we use Prony theories to uh, describe these properties. And for the fiber, it usually is linear elastic. So we use this C, uh, keyword C, to indicate this is just a constant. And the detailed information about this input file you can find in the uh, in the Suicomp user menu. Okay, so back to here, we have the uh, yarn properties, which is time-dependent properties, really. So we close this. It says the vertical elastic for the middle scale model is ready. Okay, and then we just go to file because we need to define mesh. For the macroscopic, the mesh uh, is automatically defined by default. So to save some time, I just keep this as default. And then I want to do vertical elastic analysis. And here, I like to, to do a plate analysis and to get the time-dependent A, B, and D matrices, okay? And I click select file. Because this is the vertical elastic analysis, I need the properties file in a text file. So a good thing is this property meso.txt was automatically generated by the micro-scale analysis, okay? So you don't need to prepare this file by yourself if you are using two-step approach. Click open, click finish, so the file uh, properties are imported, and then we need to save the SD file. So here we have meso, let's say visco, elastic dot SC. Save this file. Because this, we use a very simple match, so it's pretty, pretty quick. And collect meso scale. So it will calculate the visco elastic a, B, and D plate stiffness matrix using this SG. So the corresponding macroscopic structure is just a single layer plan waved uh, ply. So okay, so now we have the effective A, B, and D matrices here, and it arranged by time. Okay, and uh, a good thing or a unique feature of MSG is it actually can use the general time-dependent properties, <clears throat> which means here a file we use to perform mesoscale analysis. The first part is the uh, materials properties. It's no problem. And for the yarn, it actually described at different time step instead of using the Prony theory. So the traditional approach, after you, do, after you perform the microscopic analysis, you need to fit the Prony theory based on these results. And this fitting is an additional effort, and it may cause additional inaccuracies. So here, we don't need to do that. We can use this keyword T to indicate this properties is a general time-dependent properties. Okay, and now we have our result as a ABD matrices. So this concludes our third example. Thank you.